Today, all three of the Republican candidates from Mississippi's 4th Congressional District were in Lamar County. WDAM 7's Delaney Dukes called out with the candidates to hear their message to voters. All three Republican candidates were right here in the Pine Belt to discuss their views on different topics. They spoke at a meeting for the Forest Lamar Republican women. Our first candidate is incumbent Mike Izzell. As he's vying to keep his seat, the former Jackson County Sheriff says he wants to continue what he started in Washington. We asked him about his plans to help South Mississippi. Number one is, is uh, the big Eagle One project that's going on out here in Lamar Forest County. That is vital. Uh, job creation by trying to do away with some of the red tape that goes on and comes out of Washington, D.C. to try to promote uh, good growth, good things like that that help the community, uh, you know, and we also want to work very well with our local government so that they know they've got a voice in Washington. Among his challengers is Michael McGill, a retired U.S. Army veteran. McGill wants to see outdated laws updated with more support for children and veterans among his other top priorities. My issues is combating fentanyl, human trafficking, and taking care of infrastructure. Those are the issues, as long as we're selling our farmland to China, we're selling our power grids to China, and we're letting them buy land around our military bases, we are losing our own country to our enemies. The last candidate, Carl Boynton, is a businessman whose focus is to promote and preserve conservative values. My background is business, so I believe in bringing business to all of, Mrs. All of the 4th District, because, you know, to help uh, get people out of uh, uh, welfare and Medicaid and stuff, you know, you supply a good job that has benefits and stuff and that helps lift people up. You know, when you give them welfare and Medicaid, that, you know, keeps them down. So we need to do better. Delaney Dukes, WDAM 7, on your side. The primary election will be held March 12th.